Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we're talking about vital sex and the topic for this uh, video is how to create emotional or energetic connection during sex. This is one of the core aspects of really uh, diving deeper into your sexual experience because of course sexual experience is not just a physical experience, it's an energetic experience and what you want is really to engage the full dimensions of your feelings, emotions, presence, energies into this, uh, this exchange so that the experience is uplifting and more complete. So how do you create energetic or emotional connection with somebody. You have lots of foreplay practices that you can engage into that have to do with, for instance, eye contact, that have to do with uh, energetically connecting through uh, touch, through uh, breathing together. So all those are, are possibilities and uh, tactics that you can use before even engage in engaging into anything that is purely sexual okay this is like the in the foreplay zone which has to do with nurturing the connection that you have with your lover with your partner with somebody with who you are going to have sex in a, in a moment so I recently read an article which says just that women are complaining about the fact that very often their partner is going to dive into their their neck and not actually make physical eye contact they don't see him they don't feel him enough so guys, if you want to establish a deep connection with your lover, with this woman, with who you are having sex right now, what you can do is simply make eye contact, eye gazing. While you are having intercourse, just look into each other's eyes and pose. Stay there, establish connection. Say it or feel it. I see you, I'm experiencing you. I'm okay to pause, I'm okay to slow down. The most important thing right now is that we are in tune, that we are synergizing, that we are synchronizing our vibration. So that's the first, the first element. The second aspect is start synchronizing your breathing. For instance, if you are with your lover and you see her or him breathing in a certain way, start harmonizing your breathing with the cycle or the rhythm that they are expressing or the, the one they are in right now so what is going to happen when you do that is that of course you know breathing together means entering into the same cycle of life force or energy and that's going to create a very deep uh, connection the third aspect i would call that conscious touch what that means is that when you're touching somebody, it's not just rubbing your hands on that person's body and being a little bit inconsistent with it. Put your, your awareness into what you're doing and the way you're doing it. For instance, what you can do is add some oils also to your touch. Be really present in the way you're touching. Are you touching with lots of pressure, slow, soft or hard? What, what part of the body are you touching? Are you holding your hand for an extended period of time in the same the same place are you touching the neck or the back are you pressing are you challenging are you stretching that person's comfort uh, you know all that has to do with conscious touch and of course if you have some massage or body work skills that's gonna help but you don't need to be uh, necessarily trained with that the first element is really this just be aware stay present in what you are doing and the way you're doing it because you know, very often you will have uh, maybe women complaining about the fact that a man was touching their vagina, their genitals in ways that were totally inappropriate or not conscious that it was the, the touch was too, uh, too harsh, too fast, that there were no juices there and that it was almost like, like painful or that they were engaging into penetration too fast or so this this lack of awareness and lack of presence is really a massive turn off you want to be there present check in with your partner and be be really receptive to the signals that he or she are giving you back 
So you have eye contact, you have breathing, you have conscious touch, and uh, another one has to do with sexual conversation. So sexual conversation doesn't mean that you are going to enter into a long explanation. It means different things. The first, the first one is that before you engage into sex with somebody, you can check in. You can, you can ask the person, what kind of sex do you like? What's the best orgasm you ever had? Um, are you sexually active right now? With who? In what context? What kind of, of, uh, of things turn you on when you think about sex? Do you have any fantasies? You know, entering into this kind of uh, sexual conversation where you open up the space to, uh, to freely share what's, what's in there is, is a very interesting and very juicy and a very exciting way of connecting with uh, somebody that will become your future lover. Uh, the second um, way of connecting with verbal communication is also during sex. So we are not talking about having long conversations, but having a quick check-in. Wow, you know, like for instance, if you feel that something is really touching you and activating you, sharing that with your partner and telling them, wow, that feels really good. Now you are really understanding me. This, what you're doing right now is like the best touch that you can give me. Or, hang on a sec, just pause. Pause for a minute. Uh, what you just did there feels slightly uncomfortable. See, you can you can give feedback, you can have check-in, and you can also check with your, your partner. You can go, how does that feel? Does that feel good? Uh, would you like me to, to touch a little bit harder? Would you like me to go a little bit more towards your, your genitals and genital touch? Is it okay now if I penetrate you with my finger? You know, questions that can be very specific. Again, it doesn't mean that you enter into conversation, uh, an ongoing conversation. It's not uh, asking for your partner to micromanage you in terms of uh, sexual movements and sexual practice. Your partner expects you to read the signals, but you can have little hints here and there. The third way to communicate about sex is what I call the feedback minute, which means after you, have, you engage in sexual play with a partner, the day after, ideally, or maybe the same evening, if you don't have time the day after, but take the time to have a check-in. A check-in is like that. You each get a turn, you know, you might start, you might, you might say, okay, here are five things that I liked about what we did yesterday. First thing was like this kind of touch and intercourse, the passion was incredible. The fact that, you know, we shared and we shared some tears, there was lots of emotion there. You know, like you can really give the person feedback and then you can also go and share with them some things that might have been challenging for you or that you didn't really like, okay? So be really mindful in the way you, you share that and realize that sometimes giving a little bit of challenging feedback might allow you to reorient also the type of sex that you have with that person. So all that, eye contact, conscious touch, breathing together, communication, conscious sexual communication, all that is going to create a space that is going to feel way safer and way more nurtured the moment you start adding uh, these, these techniques. That's it for now. See you soon. Bye-bye.